Yo YouTube, what's up? Scuba Diver Picker here. This is just going to be a small pickup and trade video that I did with my local game store, Game Giant, here in town. I traded Beast Wars for the PS1, Metal Gear Solid VR Missions for the PS1, a PS2 memory card, a wireless PS2 controller, and two PS1 controllers, and a couple DVDs. And I traded it for... Something for a game that I'm going to show you at the end. I'm going to save it for last. The other day, I went to Game uh, GameStop, and uh, they had this at a reduced price, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty. I actually had a little bit of credit there still, so I got it pretty much for you know dirt cheap. But I've been playing this game with Classic Game Freak. Check out his channel. Uh, you know, a little bit today actually, and having I'm having a lot of fun. It's a great game. I like how you can do one on one. Unlike with Battlefield Three, you can do one on one, but you got to rent the server. It's like a dollar fifty each time. So, really, really cool. Enjoying playing this game. Also, two weeks ago, I'm not sure if I put this in the pickup bit or not, but I was going to go ahead and show it just in case. Call of Duty Black Ops. Picked this game up very, very, very cheap. The, my game store, I did a trade with them uh, two weeks ago. Uh, got it for, they were asking $19.99, which was uh, $25 cheaper than what GameStop wanted. Because sometimes my local game store, uh, they they price it pretty much the lowest of what sells on eBay. So if, if you know, if it's $19.99, they sold on eBay, then they'll, they'll price it that way sometimes. But uh, so I traded and got that for nothing, really. Um, I think I did put that on a video actually now I think about it. And here's the game that I traded for uh, those items that I listed earlier. And that's Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. GameStop wanted $44.99 or $49.50, $50, I think is what they wanted. 50 bucks for this game. My local game shop wanted $39.99. Traded it straight, all that stuff up straight up for this. So awesome. Haven't tested it out yet. Looking forward to playing it. If anyone wants to, you know, play this game or whatever, I heard it's really cool. They got survival mode. So I'm probably going to check that out in a little bit before I go to the gym. So excited to check this out. Really liking the Call of Duty series compared to Battlefield 3. Um, Battlefield 3 really irritating me uh, with the premium bullshit. How you can just pay 50 bucks and you got everything. What's the point of putting in the time? earning the weapons and stuff if you can just buy it. So probably going to get rid of that game. Probably going to sell it, trade it. I'm thinking about um, possibly selling it here online or maybe to one of you guys if you want to buy Battlefield 3 and sending the money to my boy Classic Game Freak so he can pick himself up a Modern Warfare 3 game. Um, or not sending it to me, but sending it to him. Or maybe doing a trade or something. Try to if anyone has Call of Duty Modern Warfare and they're looking to trade it, uh, hook send me send me a PM. Maybe we work something out. I'm try, I want to get him a copy of it so we can both play. But uh, really excited to have this. Now that's all the finds for game or trade to whatever. But I do have a couple of GI Joe figures I want to show you guys as well. If you're not into GI Joe and you could care less, then you can go ahead and cut this off. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want to do. Um, I picked up a Destro, 1983, goes for about $16. I did a trade with my local game shop, got that for free pretty much. Um, picked up the 1989 version of Snake Eyes. The two most popular figures among the G.I. Joe brand are Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. And uh, they're usually the most valuable as well. This, but this one only goes for about 15 bucks, and you could probably find them on on a little bit cheaper. But really happy to have him. There's another version of Snake Eyes that I want, a 1985 version. It's the first one I had as a kid, um, but that one goes for about 50 dollars. So unless I get lucky and find it cheap or trade in something, I'm not going to see it probably. Um. And now I also picked up a 2007 25th anniversary version of Arctic Snake Eyes. 
this was only seven ninety nine um, from my uh, comic shop. I'm going to open him up and display him. There's really no point in me keeping him boxed. By the time it'll take twenty years probably for this to go up in value, um, but I would like him displayed. I would like to have all the Snake Eyes displayed. He was my favorite character, so. Um, I'm not going to open them up on here. I'll open them up later. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much my finds. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Check out Classic Game Freak's channel. Uh, if anybody has Modern Warfare 3 and is looking to trade it, send a PM to me as well as send a PM to Classic Game Freak. Um, maybe you guys could work out a trade for it. Maybe I can work out a trade for it and send it to them or something. Uh, but I want him to get it so him and I can play. So thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Cheers.